Harry's livid as Ms. Levin declares shocking truth make him never be king, think you'll be king? Prince Harry sparked fury in royal expert Angela Levin who questioned the Duke of Sussex's chance of becoming king in the future. Prince Harry, 37, is suing over a decision not to allow him to pay for police protection for himself and his family while in the UK. The Duke wants to bring his children to visit from the US, but his barrister told the High Court on Friday that he does not feel safe when visiting under the current security arrangements. He is arguing that his private protection team in the US does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe. But royal expert Angela Levin hit back at his claims. Speaking to LBC, she said, what annoyed me incredibly is he said he was in the immediate line of succession. Does he really think he's got a chance to be king when he's behaved like this? The Queen's got to stand up to it. I think she's got to stop him being the Councillor of State and that means when she can't manage or run well, they become stand-ins. They go to meetings and they sign documents. It is reported that Prince William did not want to be under the spotlight as a child. Prince Harry had no problem taking over brother Prince William's role as the future monarch back in the days. As per a royal expert, William oftentimes confided in his mother Princess Diana to share how he he didn't want to be king and Diana, too thought Harry was more suitable for the job. Harry, on the other hand, did not hesitate in taking over the Duke of Cambridge's spot, telling him, if you don't want the job I'll have it. Robert Jobson adds Princess of Wales thus called her younger son GKH, or good King Harry. He told the Channel 5 programme William and Harry, Princes at War? She used to refer to Harry as GKH, Good King Harry, because she thought he'd probably be better equipped for the role in the future than William. TV broadcaster Jeremy Paxman also confirmed the story, explaining, We talked about our children and she said William often told her that he didn't really want to be king, and then Harry would say, If you don't want the job I'll have it. On Friday, the first hearing in the case took place at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, which Harry did not attend. Court papers filed by the Home Office claim Harry believes the ruling made in February 2020 by the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Ravec, is wrong in law. The documents state, he says Ravec was wrong in law not to have considered him to remain in its cohort because he falls within the immediate line of succession. It says Harry believes he should be provided with security by the police on all occasions when in the UK because of his particular personal circumstances. At the preliminary hearing, the court heard there was an application by both sides for some parts of the court documents in the case to be kept private. Introducing the case, Shahid Fatima QC, for the Duke, said, this claim is about the fact that the claimant does not feel safe when he is in the UK given the security arrangement supplied to him in June 2021 and will continue to be applied to him. She continued, it goes without saying that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. Most of all, this is and always will be his home. The Duke briefly returned from Los Angeles last year for the July 1st unveiling of the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial statue and, the day before, on June 30, he met seriously ill children and young people at a well-child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London. It is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left.